Thank you everyone for coming this morning. Someone may have brought with them the Melbourne weather. Not sure who that was, but thank you for coming. On behalf of our Chairman Scott Barlow, it's my great pleasure to announce our first signing of the 2019-20 Hyundai A-League season, Costa Barbarousas. Costa brings to us great experience and quality. Over 200 A-League games, over 50 goals. He's represented his country. He's a great character and a winner. Two important traits that we see as critical to success at Sydney FC. Costa signing is another indication of our club's ambition to win all three domestic trophies next season, to defend our Hyundai A-League Championship and to taste success in the AFC Asian Champions League. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank and to welcome Costa and his family to our great club. Welcome, Costa. And I'll now hand over to our championship winning head coach, Steve Corica, to say a few words. Um, Costa, I'd like also to welcome you and your wife, Tara, to the Sydney FC family. Uh, we're very excited to have you at the club meet. So, after a couple of conversations I've had with uh, Costa, I knew he was the right person to lead the attacking line this season alongside all our other great quality players. Um, the traits that we look at Sydney FC, I think Danny touched on a couple of them, but for me, it's a, we want quality players. Uh, he's very fast, scores goals. I think he's going to be very exciting for our fans to watch as well. So, um, Also, I'd like to, you know, I think he's... Got great experience. He's won trophies at Melbourne before, so we look at that as well. And uh, we wish you all the best this season. He's a great guy. I think that's the main thing as well. Uh, when we look at players, the first and foremost, we look for people that fit into the culture of the club, and he definitely does. And he's a great guy. He'll fit into the team, and he's a, he's a great player. So they're the key traits that we look for. Again, welcome. Uh, Costa, looking for a great season from you and to win more trophies next year. Thank you. I think just a, a fresh challenge, obviously after speaking with the club, uh, became very clear to me that it was something that I, I wanted to do. Uh, the challenge of defending a championship is very appealing to me. I've said uh, that I like to have uh, their expectation on me of, of winning football games and winning trophies. And, uh, and after speaking with Steve and, and the club, uh, it became very clear to me very fast that this is where I wanted to be. Why did you choose to leave victory? Yeah, just a fresh challenge. And obviously, like I said, as soon as I, I found out that a great club like Sydney uh, wanted me to play for the club, um, really easy decision and I was really you know eager to, to get here um, you know a lot of stability as well for my wife and I um, we're expecting a little one in September so that was also a big factor and yeah I want to win trophies and uh, I want to be a big part of a, a big team and, and this is exactly what it is. You're very familiar with the, the rivalry between Melbourne and Sydney FC what was it like or how, how hard was it really for what was it like to make the decision to leave Melbourne before their oldest and fiercest rivals? Yeah, look, it was a tough decision to leave in general, um, you know, but uh, that's, that's football that happens. Um, I've had a really good success there. Um, you know, the fans have treated me really well. Um, there's going to be some, obviously, backlash to that, but I think uh, most people will understand and, uh, you know, everyone will move on. Uh, I moved on to a, a really great club that I'm excited to join and uh, I'm sure they'll carry on to, to sign other great players to replace me. You're coming in, obviously, as a centre forward alongside Adam Lafont, the club's lost Alex Ross, Cindy Young and Resident Challenger. Do you feel the extra pressure of knowing that you've got to get some goals this season? Uh, yeah, I, I like the pressure. I like the expectation on me, I think. Uh, looking back, I've performed better when there is expectation and pressure on me. So that comes with playing for a, a big club. So uh, it's not something that uh, is going to bother me. It's something that I'm going to relish. And, you know, it doesn't come just turning up on the game day. I want to work hard and I want to uh, integrate myself to the club and, and to the players, uh, my teammates, as soon as possible. And it looks like there's a great group of of players as well, um, you know, obviously ability-wise and character-wise. So 
uh, it's something that really made my decision very easy to, to come here and join Sydney FC. Uh, yeah, so I sort of just put everything um, to the side until my season was over. And then, um, yeah, like I said, once I spoke to, to Steve, it was a pretty easy decision to make um, where I wanted to be. You know, it's obviously, like I said, tough to, to leave where I was, but uh, I'm always just looking ahead and it was very easy. I, I could see myself and my family here for the next three years, uh, working hard and, um, you know, being successful. Like I said, it, it's not guaranteed, but uh, I found that preparation uh, week to week and day by day is, is the key to giving you the best chance of that. And this is where I, I think is the best place for me to be to, to bring the best out of myself. Um, yeah, look, it's, uh, you know, I, would, I was probably going to say something on uh, social media or whatever, but um, yeah, I th I'd like to thank them, um, everybody, you know, the club and, and the fans especially, like I said, they've treated me really well. Um, I know there's going to be a few angry people about my decision, that's normal, uh, but I think the people that really think about it uh, will understand and respect my decision and um, like I said we'll move forward and, and move on we'll remember what we achieved together but now I'm a Sydney FC player so my focus is on trying to help the club be successful.